Yesterday, I was out metal detecting for a little bit and on the beach in Miami area still. I got this crazy foreign coin. I had to Google it. I don't know if you can see it very well because, well, I'm blind. Might be upside down. Anyway, I Googled it and it looks like it's uh, a euro from Spain. Who knew? But this is really cool. So this was wrapped in this little string. I don't know what the significance of that is. I thought it was junk, so I just threw it in my bag. And this morning, Dan's looking through it, and he's like, I can't believe you found something you didn't know. Well, that happens to me a lot. So, I always have to put things aside and look at them later. So it says, Taj Mahal Palace. Pice, P-I-C-E. And on the bottom it says 1903. Anyway, I can't find it. Like there's ones that say India, like Pice, India, and the date. It says British Indian coin, but this really, I don't, I'm not convinced it's a coin. Might be some kind of a token or commemorative, you know. I don't know. Anyway, tell me what you think. I'm at a loss. But, always go back through and look at your junk with your glasses on. Look at that. <laughs> See you next time. Okay, found our first find. Well, not really. We found a ton of clay, but look at that. Monster truck. It says, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Good one. All right, we got a too good to be true sound here. Bringing up a 33. Do a live dig for you. Right, there's something clunking. <laughs> yeah, it's too good to be true, all right. No idea. Well, there's a bullet casing. What do we got here? Luger. Nah, I can't tell. All right, looks like I got me a little earring. Something. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Huh. I think it's got a mark. So this is our first good target. Got a late start today. Let me pull out my handy dandy magnifier. Oh yeah, boom. So I already got 925. Look at that. How oh, sweet. That's a lot like the one I found yesterday, but it was 14 karat gold. Oh look, 925 right there too. No, what does that say? Something else. No, well, that must be the maker's mark, SBC or something. All right, sweet. Probably not real diamonds, but I will test them. Yeah, seems like you always got to dig at least one vape, huh? Man, that was just screaming at me. I was like, how could that be so loud as it like a quarter? Man. All right, let's see what else we can get. Run out of daylight. Well, this is ringing a 16. Kind of a cool little hollow bead. Well, got a hair thing. Nothing fancy. Man, I just fought so hard for that car on the waves. It's been like 10 minutes. Yeah, I should have dug this. I don't know what it is yet. Let's see. Maybe nothing. 
Yeah, it is just a piece of trash. Darn it. That is so windy. It just got me a quarter. And the car. Yeah, it's pretty windy, but oh, it's like I mean 18 right on top. Ooh, look at that. A little 925, baby. Sweet. Not big, but we're on the board with silver. Okay, I think I found me a little ear cuff. Probably a uh, bling. I will check it out. So this is an 18. Peeking out, I see a little chain. Oh, nice. Cool. This says this is nine two five. So it must be gold plated silver. If they get any better marks like on these things, I'll let you know about. Still in the hole where I just got that necklace. So yeah, look. There's another piece to it. Alright. Cool, glad I rescanned. Nice to get another little chunk of silver, huh? Alright, see what else we can get. Look at that. On the way to the car, you go get dinner. Nail, a nice 925 earring. Look at that. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's dark. I'm headed back. Just kind of hitting a low tide on the way back, and I got this kind of gem thingy. I think that's going to be bling for sure. Bringing up a 22, though. Kind of cool. All right. Well, I got me a little ring out there. Like it's gonna be a blinger, but you know, eventually you keep digging them. They're gold or silver, just not this one. But either way, it keeps it interesting. It's nice to get a little bit of jewelry in between clad. But you know, I don't show you much clad because everybody knows what a dime looks like.